today we're doing a mystery tackle box unboxing. Let's start. Alright, so to start we're just going to pop this baby open. I will leave a link in the description this time to mystery tackle box. We make some great stuff. The new catch company boxes are coming out. They came out actually. I might start those too. It's just a great site, great everything. This month, October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, you can see more at mrtacklebox.com slash causes. And all right, let's get started. Okay, so. Drop a big card. There's a big card. Let's see what we got. Kohato Shad by Throwback Wars. Three tails for t nine bucks. It's all in Japanese. Um, looks like it's in a fire tiger color. I can't read what size it is though because it's in Japanese. Yeah, sorry about that, but. Looks like a good little bait. Trawling and some deep water cranking. So there's that one. Next we have the ultimate strike mail by Buy 8 Lab. I think that's how you say it. Extreme Squid Scent. I might take me. Yeah, I'm gonna take them out of the package. <laughs> so you guys are gonna go Oh my gosh, dude. This smells really bad. There's the bait though, it's a little, oh dude, it smells so bad. It's an interesting design though, it's got the head, a little segmented part, and then it's got like a fatty, a K-Tech fatty back on it. That's kind of weird. It's kind of cool though, that looks pretty, that looks pretty sweet. This is definitely not a bait though that you'd fish with a, Jacob, I'm so sorry I don't cover my nose because these smells so bad. Get those out of here. Alright, next we have the awesome walleye runner by Red Runner. Is it a rainbow color? It's like a great little blade bait. It's got a. If you don't know what red runners are, then you have to know what they are. Um, but basically, what it is, it's a jig head with a little blade on the back to create vibration, flash, all that. And I fish this with a big grub or swim bait or something on the end of it. So that's that. Next, we have the Colorado Blade Crawler Harness by Lindy. That is a big Colorado Blade. I believe that's a number six. Yeah. What color is this? In? It's in bluegill. Which is an interesting color for a crawling bait. Alright, so these, basically what you do with these is you put a worm attached by the head onto the front hook then on the back you hook it through a different area and it's back in the middle of it whatever comes first so then you troll it either with a bottom bouncer or some kind of weight to keep it down near the bottom bottom bouncer is the way that I like to do it because you're bumping the bottom it's the only problem with bottom bouncing is it's kind of hard to feel strike sometimes if you're using a big heavy stout rod so I'll offer a more flexible rod if you're using going to use these. Um, because with the stout rod you can't really tell the difference between a bottom bump and a bite. It's hard to get bites from subtler 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 bites from fish that aren't taking it all the way. Most of the time, walleyes and saw guys and saugers, and if you don't know what a saw guy is. It's a mix between a sauger and a sauger and a walleye. Oh my gosh. 
Dude, I cannot talk today. So, and that's what we have at Tappan Lake. That's the lake that my grandparents own a house on. Um, but we troll these out in the middle of the bay that we live in. And I must have caught 16 saw guy last time on one trip, one boat trip in like two hours. But um, I was using a flex more flexible more flexible rod and the color that I'm using at my lake is bright orange bright fluorescent colors because the water is pretty murky so for some reason they like stuff that stands out in the water we've tried blue ones and they didn't work too too great they worked but it wasn't like the action that I started getting when I switched up to an orange one. I'm getting vibration. I switched. I like ones that float. This one doesn't look like that it floats, but it'll still do. I like I like to opt for ones that have floats on them so that they rise. So when the bottom bouncer is hitting the bottom like this, you got your leader, then you got your leader rig. The rig's going to rise up like this off the bottom bouncer as the bottom bouncer moves. It's going to keep that rig just over the bottom so that you're not hanging up as much. And the fish, they just seem to get really mad at orange and red colored baits. I don't know why. But, yeah, so that's pretty much the Wendy crawler harness. Sorry that took so long. That one's now done. Uh, bait card. Don't need that anymore. And devil digest. Let's see what they have. Some ways to catch them when you're out deep. Ledge fishing 101. Crappie jigs, how to use salmon eggs to catch trout. Not much. Drift rigs, just talking about drift rigs and stuff. And I'll get into that once the opener comes around. And yeah, there's really nothing good in here. Well, there is some good stuff in here actually, but you know, whatever. I don't need it right now. You got our sticker. It's the only one that I'm not going to throw behind me. We got our breast cancer awareness box. I will see you guys later. Like, comment, subscribe. Good stuff. See you later.